Let's talk about an 8879 and what it means when you sign it. My name is Tony Cameron with TLDR Accounting. We're a strategic tax and accounting firm that works with therapists and other small business owners. Now, one of the things that comes up when we prepare taxes is we send our clients a 8879 via DocuSign and they need to sign it and get it back to us before we can file their tax return. Now, a lot of times we get questions about what are they signing? What does it mean? What does it mean to us? And so, we figured we would talk about some of these. By signing your 8879, you are giving us permission to file your tax return. It also means that at that point, you have no other questions on your tax return. Uh, everything looks good and it's ready to go. Now I'm gonna read off one of the paragraphs on the 8879, which is super important. Under penalties of perjury, I declare I have examined a copy of my electronic individual income tax return and accompanying schedules and statements for the tax year, and to the best of my knowledge and belief, they are true and correct. So yes, you are certifying under penalties of perjury that your entire tax return is correct to the best of your knowledge and beliefs. That means you've looked at your tax return and everything looks good. <coughs> I'm gonna give you an example here. Uh, you don't need to dig into everything, but say you know you only made 50K last year, but your income is at 200K, that's not correct. Or if you have multiple dependents on your tax return that you don't have, that is not correct. A big part of this is to make sure you're not committing any fraud and you're being honest on your tax return. So that is super important. Now we do get a little pushback about people like, well, what am I paying for if I have to sign my tax return myself? So you probably don't know tax law. It's one of the things that I focus in in particular. And so you might not know if your tax return is correct. And that is why you have a professional prepare it, right? That is what we do. Now, even if you have a professional prepare it, you still have taxpayer responsibilities as a tax return. And that means you're verifying the accuracy of the tax return, meaning you're reviewing it, including the direct deposit information. So before you sign that 8879, you need to check your name, social security number, address, your direct deposit information if you're getting a refund or your direct withdrawal information if you end up owing some taxes, along with taking a look over your tax return to make sure that it looks correct. Now, in our case, we also offer clients where we'll do a video review of your tax return, just pointing out some, uh, some numbers, comparing it to last year, so you have a better idea before you sign the 8879 of everything that's going in your return. Hopefully you found this helpful and you understand a little bit better about what is actually going on when you do sign your 8879. Uh, if you do need help with your taxes still, feel free to contact us.